of the National Football League. Super wild card weekend from Highmark Stadium. Temperature currently seven degrees. Feels like minus five. It's going to dip a little lower. And brave in the elements, third member of our crew down on the field, Evan Washburn. Yeah, and I can concur. And the Week 13 matchup between these two teams on this field was defined by gale force winds. Well, tonight it's those Arctic temperatures. Important to note, though. This field, it's not heated underneath. It will continue to freeze over the course of this game, as will the footballs in this one. And that's where the teams are concerned. Game plan, scheme should not be affected. Ball security, though, should both offensively and defensively. As for the mental hurdle of these conditions, Bill safety, Micah Hyde, he put it best, saying early in this game, once the adrenaline wears off, you'll know who wants to be out here. Stay warm, boys. Yeah, no doubt, Evan. Same to you. And here's the reality. Everybody's got to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you live in a certain place, you still got to go play and perform in hundred percent Jake Bailey will kick it off for New England Isaiah McKenzie is the deep man for Buffalo the Bills 11 and 6 this season Back-to-back -back AFC East titles New England a wild card something they have never been under Bill Belichick 18th playoff appearance in the last 21 years and away we go in Buffalo. The turnable at the 15, McKenzie. Takes a lane to the outside. Ball came loose right at the end, out of bounds. And he is dropped just across the 30-yard line by Brandon King on special teams. Josh Allen, the leader of this team, the face of the franchise. When we asked him about the conditions, he said there is no mental or physical way to prepare for it. You deal with it. You try to stay warm. The question for him was, can I throw a spiral? That's all I care about. It doesn't matter about the arm angle. As long as he can throw a tight spiral, he'll drop down. He'll do whatever. And look for a lot of quarterback run game, including maybe some option out of them tonight. Allen will throw it on first down. He delivers over the middle and hits Stefan Diggs. Nine yards, Diggs, what a season he put together, another Pro Bowl campaign. This Buffalo offense this season finished number five in total offense, third in scoring, nearly 28 and a half points per game. Some stability on that offensive line. They liked the group that they put together. It was not the original group, though. And the guy solidified it, Ryan Bates at left guard. Second down and one, Singletary came on late in the season. Got more carries, he'll get his first touch. Singletary carries some tacklers with him. And he's got a first down. Muscles his way across with Lawrence Guy holding on. And he picks up four. This New England defense, when they had that seven-game winning streak, this defense was lights out. Last four games of the season, some slippage, but it worked part and parcel when the offense was starting to have some struggles. Absolutely, and what they really need tonight, control the running game that Buffalo does present. And see if they can get the pass rush tuned up again. Matthew Judon, a pro bowler, no sacks in his last four games. John McDermott, fifth year as the head coach of the Bills. Bill Belichick, 22nd year as the head man of the Patriots. Singletary sets up. And a four-receiver look. Shotgun for Allen. They'll check it down. Singletary tries the spin, doesn't work. Good coverage by J.C. Jackson on the outside. Jalen Mills on the COVID list. So, Joan Williams stepping in for Mills. So, no gain on the play. Will be interesting tonight if the Patriots do get Buffalo in third down situations. What they do with Stephon Dix, the Pro Bowl wide receiver. They normally don't double team. Tremendous third down receiver. He shredded New England the last couple of times out. That last meeting, week 16, Josh Allen was masterful. He was in full command. Second down and 10. Allen gets out of the pocket. We know how dangerous he is with his legs, and there he goes. Josh Allen, huge run across the 30-yard line. Matthew Judon was trying to chase him down. It's a 26-yard rip for Allen. And once he decided to go, watch as he gets out in open field and becomes a one-on-one -on -one dance with Matthew Judon in open field. And Josh Allen wins it and continues upfield. And one thing about this big guy, 
he goes to the sideline here. But he's not a guy that often looks to slide. He wants to get every yard downfield, and he does it on that run. First player in NFL history with over 4,000 passing yards and over 750 rushing yards in the same season. And a new set of downs for Buffalo to work with at the 31. Wait, 20, what's that? Allen, fake, steps up. And flings it low in the direction of Emmanuel Sanders. The veteran's been dealing with a knee injury himself. They are stacked at the wide receiver position with Diggs and Beasley. Sanders, Gabriel Davis, a contributor. Isaiah McKenzie stepped in when necessary a few weeks ago. Two guys I'm really looking at tonight. Cole Beasley. Remember, he didn't play in their last game. And Isaiah McKenzie stepped in big time for him. Beasley, he wants something, he's got something to prove tonight. Gabriel Davis, the first playoff game last year, he was dynamite against Indianapolis with 85 yards of catches. That was a victory in the wild card round last year. Only 6,500 fans, though, in attendance. We got a full house tonight. Second down and 10. Allen pump and throw to the sideline. It gets there for McKenzie, and he works his way upfield short of a first down. Joan Williams, third year, second round pick from Vanderbilt, over on the perimeter. They pick up seven. And that throw kept them out of third and long. Because if he's not able to complete that one, and that's a throw not many quarterbacks can make. Totally standing still in the pocket, all arm all the way to the sideline. He turned down the throw across the middle, took the outlet, now sets up third and short. Fans here in Western New York have been waiting for this opportunity to cheer on the Buffalo Bills, a team that very well could make a run to the Super Bowl. Singletary in the backfield, fake it to him, Allen design run, he's got the room, he's got the outside and a first down. Josh Allen picks up chunks of yards. And watch how the center, Mitch Morris, number 60, comes around. Also out there is number 79, Spencer Brown, then Josh Allen with a nice move and some power. That's simply a quarterback sweep. For the Buffalo Bills, that's old single wing football. A lot of guys leading, 15 yards later, the Bills are in business inside the New England 10. His mobility was a big part of the scouting report coming out of college while the Bills were so excited about bringing him on board. First and goal, opening drive, handoff. Singletary, nowhere to go. One yard pickup with Judon all over it, the pro bowler for New England. So here early, we've already seen one design quarterback run play. If we see Isaiah McKenzie get into the lineup and get into the backfield with two backs, him and Singletary, could be some option game coming as well. They want to utilize all the all the, the ability that Josh Allen brings to the table, that mobility that you just talked about. Ninth play of the drive for Buffalo. Second and goal. We hit the 10-minute mark of this opening quarter. Allen will operate from the gun. Take it. Allen looking. Waits. The patience. Allen turns the corner and he will cross it. Back in the end zone. Touchdown. Catch made. It is Dawson Knox. And the Bills strike first on an excuse me touchdown from Josh Allen. Look at Knox elevate. To make the catch. There is no foul for rushing the passer. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. Spencer Brown gets just enough of the defender there to give him a chance. And he throws it up high. Kyle Duggar playing with a big cast on his hand. He missed last week against Miami with that injury. He can't go up with that hand to make a play. Knocks over the top of his helmet. Hauls it in. And you mentioned, excuse me, touchdown. There was a messed up route on the opposite side of the field, which a lot would made Josh Allen exit the pocket and look to be creative on the other side. There's that moment where you feel like Josh Allen just accepts, all right, it's not going to happen here. I'll just toss it to the back and let's see what happens. And put it in a position where let's see what can happen is favorable in his position because it's Dawson Knox going up to get it. They trust factor. I mean, obviously, this was a completely different stage yep. when it happened, but that's Montana Dwight Clark territory. He's also Josh Allen to Dawson Knox last year. Yeah. In this playoff game. Very similar type of a play where he ended up creating, and it paid off. Touchdown is confirmed. Tyler Bass 
is on for the extra point, having an outstanding season. And he drills it. Nine plays, 70 yards. The connection, Allen to Knox. Knox had nine touchdowns during the regular season. Josh Allen, surgical in his approach on the opening drive at home. Not sure the Bills could have scripted it much better no. than that opening drive to go nine plays, 70 yards, and to cash in with that play, Josh Allen showing off all of his skills over the course of that possession. Certainly felt like offensive coordinator Brian Dable, whatever he did script, he didn't have to get off of it. They never got into a situation where he had to go to an alternate play call. Didn't even get the third down that much on that drive. Big time drive, great opening statement by Buffalo. In New England, who does not want this to be a track meet, they've got to come back with an answer quickly. Tyler Bass, booming kick. Oshesky's going to take it out. And hit across the 10. Oshesky got stoned by Saran Neal. The New England Patriots offense led by Mac Jones, the fifth quarterback taken in the draft, but the best numbers of any Rookie QB, passing yards, completion percentage, and touchdowns. Mac Jones stepped forward, got the job in the preseason, and has certainly carried himself like a veteran at times this year. Running play on the opening drive. Damian Harris has three straight 100-yard games against Buffalo, and he gains two with forward progress. Taron Johnson and Dane Jackson combined to bring him down. On this offensive line, should be noted, Isaiah Wynn, ankle injury last week in that loss in Miami. So Justin Perron starts at the left tackle spot. The rest of the line remains as is. Kobe Myers this season the leading receiver for the Patriots second down and eight Jones threw it just three times in the first meeting outside catch made in a slip after the grab by Bourne good enough for a first down matched up with Levi Wallace on the outside this is something the buffalo fans did not get to see much of the first time mac jones actually throwing the football remember only three throws in that first game in the 50 mile per hour wins but how about that on second and eight big strike to the wide side of the field right out of the gate the young man shows confidence for his first throw charles new england will go to the next draw offensive lineman Owenu, and we'll keep you up in when we see it play fake and the play is whistled dead it's Brad Allen, seventh year referee. False start. Offense number 47. Five yard penalty. Still first down. The fullback, Jakob Johnson, called on the false start. Back it up for the Pats. And you mentioned Owenu coming in as the extra offensive lineman. 26 times in the first meeting against Buffalo here. They ran for 163 yards when he was on the field. That's their power set that they like to go to. Josh McDaniels, 18th year with the Pats in two separate stints. Calling the plays for New England. First and 15, a stick with that extra offensive lineman. Buffalo leads it 7 0. Pitch it. Harris. Had some running room and the hole closed up in a hurry. Harrison Phillips, who's had a breakout season for Buffalo in his fourth year. With a tackle, it's a one-yard pickup. This is the number one defense overall, number one scoring defense as well. We talked to Micah Hyde about that. We asked him, sense of pride? He goes, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The goal is to be the best. They were the best this year. And where they really where they really excel, long yardage situations. Here they got New England in second and long already. You get the third and long, and they suffocate teams. Second down and 14 for New England. Seven and a half to go in this opening quarter. Shotgun, Jones, steps, throws, incomplete. Sliding there was Horn. And Taron Johnson drew the assignment on the outside. It's third and long. Trying to go back to the outer part of the field as he did on his first throw of the ball game. This time, this pass a little bit low, unable to come up with it. But here's where Buffalo excels. Gets their speed on the field, third and long. Expect pressure to come at Mac Jones on this snap. Let's see if New England wants to counter and possibly run the football and just get out of here on this drive. And we look at third down conversion rates, but you got to go deeper. Third and eight or more. 
They converted a 17% clip this season. That's the second lowest in the NFL. New England on third and 14. Pressure. Jones gets out of trouble. Throws it downfield, and it's caught by Henry. Big play, New England. Hunter Henry gets open for 31 yards. Big play. Huge confidence builder. One thing Mac Jones doesn't do is take off and run with the football. Has one of the fewest scramble, one of the lowest scramble rates in the league for quarterbacks. But what he does do is extend, keep his eyes downfield, and his receivers understand that. And Hunter Henry breaks off his route, finds an open spot, and picks up a key first down. Henry, first year with New England, nine touchdowns, tying Kelsey and Andrews for the most among tight ends in the NFL. Brandon Bolden was in. First down. Jones from midfield. Put some zip on it. Downfield dropped. Bolden, who has been so rock solid catching the football, had a career year in the receiving category, could not bring it in. Could not ask for a better opportunity. Something we anticipated going into the game. First down throws for Mac Jones to try and loosen up the defense a little bit and not run up against a brick wall. And when you have a shot like that, you've got to complete it. Brandon Bolden won't drop many, but that was a big one. And there was separation there with A.J. Klein. It would have been a huge play downfield. Instead, it's second and ten. Harris in the backfield, 6.32 to go in the first. Jones. Two pats in the area, and that pass was dropped by Myers. Is that... Was that tipped out by the first one? I know there were two in the area. Looked a little bit off. Looked like it was tipped by the first receiver, and the second receiver couldn't haul it in. Yep, right there. Just a glance off the fit off of his hand, and it takes it away from Jacoby Myers. Eighth play of the drive. Third and ten for New England. Had a lot of pressure at the line of scrimmage. Two back off. Jones steps up. Looking for room. Jones trying to run. And Jones has got the first down. Epinesa put the heat on Jones. He loops out of trouble for 16 and keeps the drive alive. The evolution of a quarterback. The evolution of a rookie quarterback. Did I just not say a couple of plays ago, this is not something he does very often? Well, when, po when necessary, playoff football, you improvise and you do things out of character. And Mac Jones running for a first down, not something you see very often. And they have converted two third and longs on this possession. Jones had just 129 yards rushing this season. Jones, pump, rifle downfield. Intercepted. Sliding catch made by Hunt for the pick. The an interception. Touch by Buffalo. First down. Micah Hyde. Second team all pro. And what a play. Aguilar the intended target. Turnover New England. The Bills defense comes through on its opening drive against you. Sponsored by Coors Light, made to chill. Progressive, save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. And by Chevrolet, find new roads. Hi, Mark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York, rocking early. We just saw a brilliant play for Micah Hyde. Yeah, sometimes it's not a mistake that happens. It is just a brilliant play. Because Mac Jones threw a perfect football. Micah Hyde just made a better play on the ball. So the Bills take over at the 20-yard line. Buffalo has allowed just one opening drive touchdown in their last 29 games, including this one. Allen. And it downfield. And he's got Knox wide open. Perfectly thrown for 24 yards. And perfectly surveyed by Josh Allen to take in the whole field before picking out his target and then delivering perfectly. Dawson Knox out of the gate fast. Run a nice little over route. Perfectly thrown football by Josh Allen. 
Dawson Knox told us a couple of weeks ago it all clicked this year. Just everything slowed down for him, and that chemistry that he's developed with Josh Allen has been apparent. The temperature is down to six degrees. Allen tosses to the outside, stumbling. And the catch made by Emmanuel Sanders. Modest gain, two yards with Miles Bryant there defensively. One thing for the Buffalo Bills, Charles, you look at their wins. They won 11 games this season. All 11 of their wins came by 12 points or more. They didn't win the close ones. When they won, they won convincingly. Absolutely, and that's what both of these teams are conscious of, is that if Buffalo gets out and plays at that pace, that's their style of game. New England much more comfortable if the game's in the low 20s in terms of scoreboard. Patriots lost three of their last four games to end the regular season after the bye. It's McKenzie. Good speed to the outside. High energy player, Isaiah McKenzie. Getting a touch, Joan Williams defending that area. He picks up seven. And remember that play. Isaiah McKenzie going into the backfield and becoming a runner. Down the road, he may be the guy who becomes the trail back on an option pitch with Josh Allen. Sean McDermott, we asked him about that second New England game. He said the motivation was there after the first one. He passed along the message how the team has to be aligned as a group, one heartbeat, everybody working at the same cadence, and so far, so good for Buffalo. Singletary rumbling through for a first down, so that'll move the chains for the Bills. Six yards. And they ended up bringing in Tommy Doyle, the rookie out of Miami of Ohio. The massive 6'8", 320-pound tackle as an extra offensive lineman. New England loves to run that type of formation with Owenu coming in next to Trent Brown. This time, Doyle lines up on the right side, and they run behind him with Spencer Brown providing the extra effort. The loss for Buffalo in the first meeting between these two teams, the adverse weather conditions, it was so dispiriting because of the way New England manhandled them. Play action. Allen knocked down at the line of scrimmage incomplete. So that second game, you and I were there in Foxborough. We asked Josh Allen about it. He said there was so much going on emotionally, we had to let it out it was an accumulation of so many things based on the first meeting and based on everything that's built up in this division over the years. Yeah, the absolute frustration, thinking that last year they had taken care of New England and kind of had their way in, in, in the series. And then once again, they were chasing New England. They wanted to get back and reassert themselves. They did in Foxborough, trying to do it again here against a very tough New England defense. Lawrence Guy got a piece of that pass from Allen. It's second and ten, just under three minutes to go in this opening quarter. Seven nothing Bills. Play action. Allen sets, throws it downfield. Leaping grab made. McKenzie climbs the ladder for a first down. It covers 19 yards for Buffalo, and the Bills are in business once again. Look at the route. Now, what he did is counter to what he did against New England in the first game. Because in the first game, Ian, as you remember, a lot of crossing routes that Isaiah McKenzie ran along the way to 11 catches. This time, he shows the crossing route, bends it back outside, and then absorbs the hit that he knew was coming on the pass from Josh Allen. And Charles, give credit to this offensive line. They've allowed just one sack in the last three weeks. Deion Dawkins did a terrific job on that previous play, redirecting the defender. We approach two minutes to go. Here in the first, low throw. And Diggs couldn't handle it. Incomplete. Yeah, and they had it there, and that's just one of those ones that Josh Allen's going to say to himself, just a count longer, take your time, and put the ball in the receiver. You know how Aaron Rodgers can throw from any arm angle, never seems to move his feet. There's a lot of that going on now. Josh Allen, just go ahead and use your mechanics, put the ball on him, and you've got a better play. Sean McDermott, very happy with the way that Diggs and Beasley in particular have held up late in the season compared to a year ago. They were banged up at this point last year. Well, they did a good job of what, what do we call it, load management yes. in the NBA. They did a good job managing their time, their minutes, their reps throughout the season. From the 22, this is a second and 10. Allen, strong throw to the outside. Diggs secures it. And he is out of bounds. Last two years, Stefan Diggs has been targeted 331 times, the most in the NFL. And this is the matchup we expected to see. All-pro corner, second-team All-pro, J.C. Jackson. Eight interceptions on the year. Stefan Diggs going back to another Pro Bowl. One-on-one, -on -one, 
J.C. Jackson rises to the challenge. Oh, and Stephon Diggs has had the better of that matchup the last few times out. I'm eager to see on third down, do they give him a little bit of help with Stephon Diggs? Third down and four for Buffalo. A four receiver set. Allen will run it. First down. Going up the gut. The seas parted for Josh Allen. Watch Mitch Morse, number 60, the center. He gets his block. He climbs his second level. Darrell Williams handles his, his business at the right guard position. And Josh Allen is the type of quarterback that in film session, defensive backs say, hey, coach, our quarterback's supposed to slide? I mean, you see 240 pounds hurdling at you like that and dropping a shoulder. Not normal from the quarterback position. Bills are knocking on the door again. First and 10, just shy of the 10. Fake. Allen. A laser beam. Dawson Knox. Touchdown, Buffalo. Skinny post, or what they call a bang eight. And look at Dawson Knox, right foot in the ground. And all he does is get his body in front of Adrian Phillips. An excellent safety. But because he's able to body him off like it's a basketball play, walls him off, would you call that again, I Laser shot? There it is, right between the 8 and 8. Touchdown, Buffalo. Two long drives. One was 70 yards. The next 80 yards. This one off the interception from Micah Hyde. Tyler Bass knocks it through. Buffalo is feeling like Allentown right now. 14-0 Bills in front. Don't wait till... The NFL in the top five in scoring offense and scoring defense, and we have seen both out there doing their thing in this opening quarter. 14-0 lead for Buffalo. Bass will kick it off. Oshesky is the deep man for New England. This has been a recurring issue for the Patriots getting down in these games early and then having to battle back from a deep hole coming out to the 25. Consider the league's most prestigious honor. The Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award recognizes NFL players who have not only exhibited excellence on the field but whose passion to impact lives extends beyond the game and it's led them to leave a positive legacy in their communities. This year's nominee for the Patriots, Lawrence Guy, the Bills, Harrison Phillips. Guy continued his holiday tradition. Shop with the Jock hosted his annual backpack giveaway. Phillips hosted his football camp for those with special needs, encouraged kids to give back to their communities. This year's winner will be announced at NFL Honors on Thursday, February 10th, 9 p.m. Eastern on ABC, ESPN Plus, and NFL Network. Delayed handoff for Damian Harris. Patriots trying to establish the running game here. Four and a half yard gain. Good block from Shaq Mason up front to help spring Harris loose. And this game is not 14 to zero because New England's offensive strategy is off. The strategy's been right and the execution's been there. Just a terrific interception by Micah Hyde has turned the tide. And Buffalo's offense, unstoppable here in the early going. Second down and six. And they will not get a playoff here at the end of the first quarter. We go to the second in frigid Buffalo. The Bills 14, the Patriots nothing. AFC wildcard action here on CBS. NFL on CBS is sponsored by the Eat Fresh Refresh at Subway. And by Intuit QuickBooks, official sponsor of the NFL. Images from the four coldest games in NFL history, the coldest being the ice bowl, and this is going to fit somewhere on a larger list. Currently six degrees, it was seven at kickoff. Damian Harris cuts to the outside, first play of the second quarter, and he spilled out on a hit by Tremaine Edmonds. So minus 13, the NFL championship 1967.
the Freezer Bowl, the Chargers and the Bengals, minus nine, 1981. You had the Seahawks and the Vikings in that NFC wild card game, 2015. You had the purplish hue on the face of Tom Coughlin in Green Bay in that playoff game. It's bitter cold here. You had the Bud Grant went out in a polo shirt for that oh, yeah. game for the coin toss. Yeah, I chose not polo. to go polo shirt tonight. Third down and three. Toss it. Can Harris get the angle? Right at the line, and it appeared to be short on the initial look. Mario Addison gave a great chase there, and if he didn't get it, it's because of the effort by Addison, because Harris couldn't truly turn the corner. Look at Addison, 97, in hot pursuit, and greets him at the angle. That little push, did he get there? they got to determine it. No, he's, he's short. Look at Addison's hustle right there. You see him get a hand on him right at the end before he can get to the marker. Yeah, Charles, I'm looking at the spot right now. It's well short. Yeah. Almost two but yards short. He wasn't able to get that shoulder turned up field to get that last step in in bounds to give him a chance at the first down. Micah High does not normally return punts, but he's back there right now at the 18-yard line. Jake Bailey to kick it. High sailing kick. Fair catch. And he brings it in. 46-yard punt. Dealing with the conditions here in western New York. Jones and Allen so far. It's Allen and the Bills having their way. Last five games of the season, we saw Josh Allen using his legs even more. It's such a weapon, and we've seen it already today. Three carries, 46 yards, a long of 26. Bills take over, first and 10. At the 19. Allen has been thrown, and it glances off the hand of the intended receiver, Gabriel Davis. Let's take a look at Next Gen Stats, powered by AWS. Look at Josh Allen, that evade rate. You talked about all what he can do with his legs and the mobility. And not only does he evade, he picks up yardage at the end. And then how about this? The Williams brothers with the, jo with the Jets. Quinnen and then his brother Quincy both can't get him down. And he fires that shot to Stephon Diggs for a touchdown. Singletary in the backfield, he'll get the call. Slashing to the 27 and a half yard line. Picks up about nine yards on the play. You know, something about going against Bill Belichick quarterbacks, you'll have a rough night's sleep the night before, but in talking to Josh Allen, it feels like he's at peace with what comes with that territory. Yeah, and what comes with it is just understanding that you don't over-prepare. And that's what Josh Allen said. He is a reactionary type quarterback, adjust as you go, and he also trusts his talent and the talent around him to be better than what Bill Belichick throws at him. Extra offensive lineman, they need a yard. They get more than a yard with Singletary, and he picks up three. The man called Motor gets it done as we check in with Evan. And part of that, guys, too, for Allen, his focus in this one, not about adjustments or chess match, about IDing at the line. He said, look, being at home, it helps. When you're playing this defense, it's all about making that initial ID at the line of scrimmage before the snap. Yeah, and Evan, he said, I'm a reaction type of QB. Trust my eyes. And he recognizes the fact that Belichick brings certain players into his defense that fit the system. They're versatile. They're hybrid. Allen is obviously, like everybody else, watched a ton of film on New England. 14-0 lead for the Bills. Sells the fake. Allen sweeps it out to Singletary with a catch made at the 36 for five yards. And the emergence of Singletary has also been a nice addition for Buffalo late in the season. Look at the ball handling here by Josh Allen. Reminds me of my, our colleagues, Boomer Esaias and Phil Sims in their prime. Boomer especially was a magician with the football in the backfield, hiding it on play fakes. And how about Josh Allen there? Instead of throwing it deep, took the short pass. Grab the flag. Illegal contact. Defense, number 54. Five-yard penalty. First down. See, that type of play with all that ball handling, that's designed to get someone open deep. It's not there. And that penalty on Dante Hightower passed the five-yard mark, understood that he saw the penalty, 
and was able to get an easy completion even though he couldn't get the ball deep as he wanted to. No flag against Dante Hightower, the 10-year veteran. He has passed the five-yard mark when Dante Hightower put the hit on him and dropped him to the ground. So, first down at the 36. Alert here for Josh Allen. 23rd offensive play of the half. Allen sidesteps. Fires complete. Davis with the catch. And another Buffalo first down. 22 yards through the air. And this offensive line that you talked about at the top of the show become coming together, having more continuity and offensive line they liked to the time they gave Josh Allen and then Gabriel Davis, who dropped the last pass that came to him. He wasn't dropping this one. Look at him reaching back and then bringing it to his body. When, sure. this, when this drive started, we knew it was a little bit dire for New England. They needed a big stop here. Things are really escalated now as Buffalo continues to march. And Allen has spread it around six different receivers in this first half. Straight back. Allen. Try to break free. He does. Allen makes a cut. And another strong run. It was a whiff by the rookie Barmore, who's dealing with an injury. Barmore was a question mark this week with a knee. And look at who he runs through. You're talking about Barmore, the rookie, 6'5", 310 out of Alabama. Josh Allen gets that 240 of his going in the right direction. Runs through the attempted tackle. And the look at the yards after the contact. Picks up eight on the game. He's got 54 rushing yards in the first half. A couple of touchdown passes to Knox. Combination of called runs and his own scrambles. Bills are closing in on 200 yards of offense. Handoff. Singletary bursts through. Doesn't quite get the first down with a flag thrown. Hightower there to hit him. And some words exchanged between Singletary and Hightower at the end of the play. Mentioned Singletary is known as Motor. He said he was little Motor. His dad was Motor until high school. Then he took over the Motor nickname. Personal foul. Grasping the face mask. Defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. It is Equale called on the penalty. You don't get that call very often, but a lot of the hand fighting inside when you're trying to rush the passer or trying to get to the runner. Sometimes the hand gets up in the mask area, and this time it's the defense. Ordinarily, there's going to be called on an offensive lineman pass protecting. Bill Belichick going against a team in Buffalo that was plus 194 in point differential this season. Number one in the NFL, highest in franchise history. Four receiver set at the 17-yard line and a timeout called by New England. Bills up 14 to nothing. We'll come back in 30 seconds after this from State Farm. Take from State Farm. Thanks for the great weight on my insurance, man. Wait. I said Byron got the pageant price? Thought that was our thing. <laughs> Thanks for the killer rate, Jake. Shreddy Betty got it too? Patrick, State Farm offers rates that fit anyone's budget. Even a man handstand. Thanks again, Jake. Up top. I'm gonna go work out these fillings. For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. All bills so far, 14 to nothing lead, 194 yards of offense. New England has been held to 67. Mac Jones intercepted on a tremendous sliding kick by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are driving once again. Motion man Davis, shotgun. Give for Singletary. Big vision by Singletary to cut it back and drive forward for four. He was hit by Barmore on the play. On that New England sideline, Steve Belichick, the defensive play caller. Bill Belichick, obviously the head coach with a heavy hand in the defense, thinking to their trying to transmit that message to their defense. We need this stop here. We've got to hold him to three at this point. Try and keep our offense in this game. Running play again. Singletary. 
inside the five. Knifing through. Good block from Bates. Nine-yard pickup. Singletary is gaining steam. And so is the offensive line of the Buffalo Bills to the right side now. That's the rookie Spencer Brown. That's Darrell Williams. Look at them come off the ball. And the look folding around is Ryan Bates, who had been a journeyman backup at all positions. He moved in at left guard about five games ago, and he solidified this offensive line with terrific play. And Devin Singletary, the beneficiary on that carry. First and goal inside the five. Stop and go by Singletary, slides low for two yards. We are under eight minutes to play in this first half. Dietrich Wise Jr. will get credit for the tackle. I don't care who you, what offensive system you see, where you go. I haven't met an offensive lineman yet that doesn't prefer run blocking and beating up people at the line of scrimmage. Buffalo's offense has that now. This could be a time now you come back with your quarterback, Josh Allen, with another quarterback power run play and try and get in the end zone. Bills have already cracked 100 yards rushing in the first half. Second and goal. Buffalo trying to add to its lead. Singletary. Steam rolls in. Touchdown, Bills. Singletary caps it off for Buffalo. Look at those big guys in blue, just zone blocking. Take the person who's in your path and try and move them. To the left was Deion Dawkins, 73, going to his first Pro Bowl. Ryan Bates, 71. The center, Mitch Moore, 60. All of them working to the left side. Not only did Singletary score, so did the offensive lineman taking their guys into the end zone with them. Bills were number six in the NFL and rushing this season. They have been fantastic in this first half. Every aspect of the offense. Remember we said New England did not want this to become a track meet? Starter's pistol has been fired. So that's three long drives. And those are crushing blows to take for the New England defense. They're going to take a look. All scoring plays are reviewed. We'll step aside, come back with a verdict. Currently 20 to nothing. Buffalo. Touchdown has been confirmed for Singletary. So 20 to nothing advantage for Buffalo. We reset the game clock to 720. 720 on the game clock, please. No problem. We'll add four seconds. Spirit of collaboration. Yeah. Brad Please Allen wants it. To he is in Thank charge. You. You're welcome. It's done. The rapport continues. <laughs> it's important to get to know the officials on a human level. Especially Ed Camp, since he is a conscientious refiner. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Bass on for the extra point. The one thing that has not gone right in this first half for Buffalo. So the Bills have to settle for a 20 to nothing lead. Back in 30 seconds after this from Progressive Insurance. Oh, there's my little nephew. He looks more like dad every time I see him. Dad is old. Right. So your message said you wanted to talk about insurance? I said I want you to talk about insurance. Well, most people know that bundling home and auto saves you money. Keep saying your words. But did you know that new customers who bundle and save with Progressive can save an average of $800? Sleeping baby. I love you, too. Tyler Bass was 51 of 51 on point after attempts during the regular season. That was blocked by Dietrich Wise Jr. for New England. And the Patriots is trying to get something going here. Very limited on offense. Matt Jones is 2 of 6 for 39 yards. Harris has 12 yards on the ground. Defensively, right now, Buffalo is just doing whatever it wants to do. 
against this New England D. But that block is the type of block that shows up if this game changes, if things flip, if New England gets back into it. That's why you play hard on every snap. Maybe that block, I don't know if it ignites anything, but it could make a difference down the road if New England gets going. Tyler Bass kicks it off. Olszewski from the five. Patriots need something, a lift. And Olszewski gets hit at the 22-yard line. Well, just when you thought football couldn't get any more fun, here comes Nickelodeon, an NFL wildcard game. You can't miss experience football like nowhere else. When the San Francisco 49ers take on the Dallas Cowboys in the wildcard game on Nickelodeon tomorrow, 4.30 Eastern. It's going to be wilder than ever. I have to tell you, last week when we were promoing it, I got slimed. Yeah, I think one of the highlights of my career. Big reaction. That was, that was very cool. Your family was very excited. <laughs> very excited. I think they want to do it themselves for real. First down from the 21. Jones. Touch pass. Stevenson. And a rookie from Oklahoma makes a move upfield for a gain of four through the air. Levi Wallace helping out to make that tackle on the perimeter. So if you're New England, you've now watched them on offense here through the first half. Something need to change? Do they have to make an adjustment? I think that their game plan has been sound. All right? Micah Hyde made one of the best intercepts we've seen all year that blunted the first drive on a really good throw by Mac Jones. And since then, it's been hard to keep up with what they're doing. The firepower a little bit different on New England side of the ball versus Buffalo. Aguilar, motion man, Jones, deep drop. Protection holds up. He lays it out there, and nobody home. Hunter Henry, the closest Patriot to the football, and it's third and six. So now you're dealing with a defense that's playing with uber confidence, ultimate confidence. I would, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking here, extra pressure at Mac Jones, trying to get the young rookie off his mark as he tries to make this throw. We talked about playoff week with Mac Jones. He said. We do things in a similar fashion every week here. It's a big game, but we need to have that same approach. And Jones is nowhere close to Aguilar in a flag thrown. Wallace and Poyer back there defensively. Yeah, and they're going to get Levi Wallace and really an unnecessary play. Pass yeah. interference. Defense, number 39. By rule, the ball is placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. See, watch Wallace. He gets beat a little bit off the last catch. Watch the inside hand. See how it just stays there on the receiver? If he just runs next to the receiver, the result's the same. Instead, he's got a hand out there forcing an official to see it stay on his body for a few yards and make him pull his flag. 22-yard penalty on that play. Oh, Wenu in there. Extra offensive lineman. First down running play. Stevenson took that hole. And picks up three yards to the 50-yard line. A rookie quarterback has never taken his team to the Super Bowl. We've seen rookies win playoff games. Not a whole lot, but in you know, somewhat recent fashion, if you want to call it recent, Mark Sanchez, Joe Flacco going all the way back, Ben Roethlisberger. Russell Wilson was the last one, I believe, in 2012. Last five first-round rookie QBs to start a playoff game. Sanchez, Luck, RG3, Lamar Jackson, and Matt Jones tonight. Second down and seven. Just short of midfield. We're at 537 mark of the second quarter. Jones, look out! Jones gets smothered at the 40-yard line. The rush came quickly for Buffalo. Star Lotulale gets in there and it's a loss of 10. Just overwhelmed Shaq Mason. Did a good job with his hands to throw him aside and then had a direct pass to Mac Jones unable to get the ball out of his hands and get it downfield. Well, Tulele has lost his starting job to Harrison Phillips. Had a few injuries down the stretch out with COVID, but he showed up here tonight. They had eight sacks last week against the Jets. The most in the game under Sean McDermott. He also held the Jets to 53 yards of total offense. Third and 15. Play clock hits zero. Offense. 
by Vern Finley. Third down. Rookie quarterback, playoff game on the road. Bills Mafia getting getting involved themselves. Big time. They haven't seen a home playoff game in a long time. They're here to be a part of it. Third down and 20 for New England. Jones. Bobbled. Caught by Bolden. Well short of a first down. Out to the 49. They pick up 12. Well, eventually tackled by Taron Johnson. So the Patriots will punt once again. Only consolation on that drive is they moved it well enough that hopefully they can get some field position and assist their defense. 22-yard penalty with Levi Wallace gave him a little bit more of an opening. Helps out the punter here. Again, Micah Hyde is back there. The trust factor with Hyde. They know he's going to make the right play. And Hyde will just dart out of bounds. No reason to even give the Patriots an opportunity to smack the ball out of there. A 42-yard kick, three-yard return, 20 to nothing lead. Buffalo. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Indeed. We help people get jobs. Taco Bell's delivery meal for two because cravings are better shared. And by. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Only pay for what you need. Aerial coverage of tonight's game provided by Goodyear. Sure they're pumping the heat in the blimp. It better be. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> if it's cold here and you're up in the blimp, <laughs> it's real cold. It's the weekend and I can't feel my face. <laughs> real plates. <laughs> Line of scrimmage is the 11-yard line to open up for Buffalo. Allen checks it down to McKenzie. Catch and run. The raw speed of Isaiah McKenzie. 19 yards. Talk about evolution of a quarterback with Mac Jones. How about with jo Josh Allen? Because he wants to throw the ball downfield every play. He wants to be that gunslinger type of a guy. But the way teams are playing... Sometimes they force you to take the check downs, and he was very decisive in going to that quickly and fashioning a very nice play downfield. The Bills with three straight touchdown drives. Trying to make it four. Allen, deep shot. Over the shoulder grab. Stefan Diggs against J.C. Jackson. An elite matchup, and Diggs wins the battle for 45 yards. And this was not supposed to be a one-on-one, man-to-man -on -one -man coverage. It was cover three, three deep zone. J.C. Jackson has the outside third. But Stephon Diggs just ran past him, and there's no way a free safety from the middle of the field can get over and make a play on the ball. Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, another nice hookup. And a nice job by Diggs regulating his speed in order to come back enough for the football to finish off the play. 275 yards of offense for the Bills. Play clock winding down. Allen will take a timeout. Charge timeout. Buffalo. Good Think Josh Allen's into it. More second quarter action when we come back. Buffalo Bills 20, New England Patriots nothing, wild card game here in Orchard Park, New York. Bills looking for more. 2.24 to go in this second quarter. Beasley motion man, fake the handoff. Allen, he's going to run it. Oh, the juke move by Allen on the slide. Right near the line to gain. Allen gains nine. Good vision. Didn't have the throw he wanted. And there's the juke you described. That's Devontae Bosby, who just was brought up for this ball game. And we hit the 20-minute warning with Buffalo in front. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Michelob Ultra. Enjoy responsibly. 
and by Honda, the power of dreams. The league's 88 best players are set to face off on the Pro Bowl field in Las Vegas. Catch the 2022 Pro Bowl presented by Verizon Sunday, February 6th, 3 p.m. Eastern. Buy your tickets today at ProBowl.com or watch the excitement on ABC, ESPN, and ESPN Deportes. Gabe Davis territory, they want to find it. Second down and one, Singletary straight ahead. Cut to the outside, Singletary. Buffalo. It's a clinic. Four drives, four touchdowns, 300 yards of offense in the first half. Or you take number 41, Reggie Gilliam, utilize Ryan Bates, 71, and bring them around to lead for Devin Singletary. You don't need to find Gabe Davis in the end zone. You just hand it to the man named Motor and show him the finish line. Year number three for Devin Singletary. We asked him what's been the biggest difference. He had a trainer in the offseason because of COVID. He did not have a trainer between years one and two. Extra point is good from Bass. And Singletary has got a pair of touchdowns tonight. The Buffalo Bills, first NFL team with four touchdowns on their first four drives since the 2018 AFC Divisional Patriots against the Chargers in that postseason. Singletary's a Florida kid. And we asked him about the weather. He said, hey, I don't like wearing sleeves. Put a little Vaseline on those arms. So there's no running from the weather. <laughs> Once you take the field, you don't even think about it. You don't talk about it. We live in it. So we just go out and do what we have to do. And when you're up 27 to nothing, yeah. you're a lot warmer. Yeah, it does feel a little warmer on that sideline, doesn't it? Let's take a look at how these Buffalo Bills are getting it done with Josh Allen leading them. Look at him seeing the field. Look at him looking left. Goes to the middle, goes back right, and then comes back left. With a beautiful shot to Dawson Knox. Pocket movement. He doesn't have to be a runner all the time. He's a willing passer. And make sure he finds his man downfield. That time is Gabe Davis. Now look at him. Look left. Hold the defense. And it was a cover three. Three deep zone. And the backside corner saw him look left. Throttled down. And Stephon Diggs ran past him. Mac Jones in the air. Catch is made by Kendrick Bourne for a first down. He's in it downstairs. Devin Washburn. Guys, key defensive injury for the Patriots. Jawan Bentley, leading tackler, linebacker, questionable with the arm injury. He was not out there for that drive where the Bills just marched down the field. Yeah, Bentley had 17 tackles last week in that loss to Miami, 33-24. to Milano with a big hit on Brandon Bolden. We're down to 135 and counting left in his first half. I know everyone can't make the Pro Bowl, but Matt Milano, he had a Pro Bowl type season. Second down and eight. Jones directing traffic. Catch is made at the 41, and then two Bills make sure to get over there against Bolden. They pick up four and a half. Getting down in these games, it's been a huge issue for New England. Their last three losses, they were outscored 54 to 7 combined to open those games. Bolden ducks out of bounds, and he's got enough for the first down. Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report, JV, Phil, Boomer, Coach Coward, all the latest NFL scores and highlights. They look very cozy in that studio. It's all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. That didn't sound envious at all. No. First down for the Pats out near midfield. Matt Jones steps up. Jones going to run and make sure that he gets down before absorbing a hit. But the clock continues to roll. Picks up a couple of yards. Down to 45 seconds left. New England has two timeouts remaining. They rush to the line. Jones fakes the spike and gets sacked on the play. Jerry Hughes was not faked. The longest tenured Bill gets home. 
from the right side of your screen. He sees the fake and just runs around Trent Brown, Brown to England, get to the quarterback seconds. in the pocket. It will be 30 seconds. Please set the game clock <laughs> to 30 seconds. That wave was a... Oh, come on. You're really not trying that, are you? Thank you. Remember, the Bills drafted Greg Rousseau and Boogie Basham this year to pump up their pass rush. Jerry Hughes kind of going to the background a little bit this season. Mario Addison led the team in sacks with seven. But there's Hughes making his presence felt here in the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, they don't have that one dominant sack master, but they have a bunch of guys that can get it done in that department. Rousseau finished with four sacks. Basham had two and a half. Jones on third and 13, hangs in the pocket, throws underneath to Jacoby Myers, who's tackled at the 45. And there's 20 seconds left on the clock. Horizon Halftime Report, JB and the gang, scores and highlights from earlier action. Huge win for the Cincinnati Bengals over the Las Vegas Raiders to advance to the divisional round. It's all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Josh McDaniels trying to find something that's going to work here on fourth down for New England. And look, going this game is no secret at all. Buffalo, they wanted to put the hands in the put the game in the hands of Mac Jones. Take away all the other outlets. They've done that pretty well so far. And New England understand their margin for error much smaller. Wanted to stay out of these situations. But here it is. The young rookies have to throw the ball the rest of this game. They will operate from the gun on a fourth and five. Jones timing around, turning around for it, and Jacoby Myers with the catch, but they have to hurry here. It's down to 12 seconds, 11 seconds. Patriots are out of timeouts. And this time, Jones is going to spike it for real. Stops the clock with six seconds left as he tosses it to the official. Look at Jacoby Myers winning on the route against Taron Johnson in the slot and just looking back and reading where the ball was coming from his quarterback. It ended up becoming a back shoulder fade type of a route mm. and a good play by Myers. That ball may Moved have been moving right? just a little bit. And right now New England's going to try a field goal from 44 yards away with Nick Falk. 15-year veteran. And a timeout called. That will not count for Falk. He gets a practice swing of the leg. Buffalo, their second. It'll be 30 seconds. Maybe Buffalo, why not? Only can, they don't carry over. Folk has had good success here kicking in Buffalo throughout his career. 16 for 20 for his for his span. Yeah, Folk has been so good inside 50 yards. Very dependable. Broke into the league in 2007. As a sixth round draft pick, went to the Pro Bowl that year. Forty-four yards away. Bailey the holder. Folk drives it. And he knocks it through. Has not missed a field goal inside 50 yards since week one of the 2020 season. And the Patriots put some points on the board with one second left on the clock. So that's 55 consecutive regular season makes inside of 50 yards, and he gets it done here in the playoffs. And a good drive for the rookie quarterback, Mac Jones, to get something on the board before the half. A big fourth down throw to Jacoby Myers kept the drive alive. Teams are 2-8 and eight in the playoffs with a rookie starting quarterback since 2010, Mac Jones. He's packed a lot in. He basically told us that this one year has felt basically like two years, smashing everything together experience-wise. You know, obviously at Alabama, played a lot of games, played a big games, and then the draft process, and then the responsibility of being a starting quarterback. Really hasn't had much time off because of what you described. Win a national championship, go right into the draft process, right? Go into the OTAs, mini camps, and knew he would compete for the starting job when he was drafted. So that allows you to put more time in, right? You've got more motivation. Took the job from Cam Newton and never looked back. 
And that one just rolls to the seven yard line. Bills are not gonna take any chances. And Buffalo has got the big lead at the break. Patriots, the largest halftime deficit in the team's postseason history. 27 to three, Bills in front. End of the first half, halftime is next after these first half highlights from Verizon and a word from your local station. Verizon is going ultra, and so is our best unlimited plan ever. Mary, welcome to Verizon's new plan with 5G Ultra Wideband now in many more cities. Cool. Up to 10 times the speed at zero extra cost. Our 5G data is for reals unlimited, no matter how much you use. Did you just say for reals? Sorry. Let's put it to work with six premium entertainment subscriptions included. Shh, I'm in the lead. Go on, watch all you want. I love this show. And because a better plan. Patriots 27 to three, the Pats will have the ball to start the second half. Ian Eagle, Charles Davis, Evan Washburn down on the sidelines. We're getting ready for the second half. Where'd you get the jacket? What jacket? Oh, this. Was that that? Yes. Hall of Famer Kurt Warner, you might have noticed, wore this a few weeks ago, and it hit the internet by storm. <laughs> Kurt saw that we had this assignment, and Kurt now runs a program, Warner's Warmers. He just sends the jacket out to whoever needs it. I feel like... I want Jiffy Pop Pop. I don't know about you, if you're in the mood for that. This thing is very warm. Kurt there you Warner, go. that was Raiders at Browns. This is the same jacket. Kurt sent this to me. And let me tell you, not all heroes wear capes. Some they they heroes, wear these jackets. They wear silver bullet puffers. Well, let's talk about the game real quick. Yes. Kurt. A brother would like a jacket, too. But anyway, <laughs> moving on from that, the only way New England gets back in this game, that defense can't just stop Buffalo, but they have to get takeaways and create extra opportunities for Mac Jones and the offense, which have to be extra efficient in this half. And the return by Olszewski is spun down at the 24, thanks to Rich Eisen for coordinating the whole jacket thing. And we go down, Devin Washburn, I'm gonna give this jacket to him. Yeah, I could use that. As you would imagine, Ian, at the half, it was a brief conversation with Bill Belichick. He was just visibly frustrated with the way his team played in that first half. And simply put, they just have to play better. As for Sean McDermott, applauded the execution of his guys. I asked him specifically, the message, when you're up this big against New England at half, he said, well, they were down pretty big in a Super Bowl and they found their way back. And that's all we need to know. Evan, in that first half, Mac Jones, 10 of 16, 106 yards. The pick, the handoff to Damian Harris. This is what New England wanted to do to start the game, establish the run. It's a three-yard game. Matt Milano with the stop. A whopping 9.1 yards per play for the Buffalo Bills. 300 total yards for Josh Allen and company. I mean, that yards per play number is staggering in the NFL, and especially in playoff football. Now, can Mac Jones, the rookie quarterback, create some big plays and get New England started here as they try and come back in the second half? Take the handoff, Rush is coming. Jones flips it out in front. Stevenson with a first down. Strong catch and sprint. Jones had to deal with the pressure from Matt Milano, and they turned it into 10 yards. And a nice call there by Josh McDaniels because he knows this is a very hyped up defense for Buffalo wanting to make play after play. They catch him in the blitz, getting after the quarterback and use it against him. Mac Jones takes the hit, grabbed his left leg back into the front. Yeah, he felt that one as he hit the turf. New set of downs for New England to work with. Running play, Harris, strong gain. As he gets clipped from behind, Shaq Mason, a key block up front. And Harris may need a moment. This defense, led by Leslie Frazier in his fifth year, head coach of the Minnesota Vikings from 2011 to 2013, number one in the NFL in total defense, number one in scoring defense. Both Frazier and Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator, are scheduled for interviews for head coaching opportunities with the Bears and the Dolphins. Jones popped up in the air, intercepted. Levi Wallace in the right spot off the ricochet. Henry, the intended target. 
And Leslie Frazier, the defensive coordinator, if he's interviewing for a job, all he's going to do is bring this tape with him to show what his defense is capable of doing. Matt Malone. Broadcast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the consent of NFL Productions is prohibited. Second interception for Mac Jones. That one intended for Hunter Henry. And the Buffalo Bills take over. Temperature has dipped to five degrees to minus seven wind chill. And Josh Allen in complete control for Buffalo. And off. Singletary stacked up. Game of two, forward progress. Let me check out Next Gen Stats, powered by AWS. Well, how about this play? The first touchdown of the game. The longest play in three seasons on a passing touchdown in the NFL. Well over nine seconds, approaching ten, and he throws that alley-oop up there for Dawson Knox to come down with. That's the product of a lot of off-field off preseason extra time together to work that out. Allen will work out of the shotgun just underway here in the third. Protection is there. Allen sends it to Reggie Gilliam. Had just three catches during the regular season. Picks up four yards after Duggar and Phillips combine to bring him down. It'll be third and four here for Buffalo on the Bills opening drive of the second half. First half possessions. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. And look at the number of, look at the yards for the drive. There's Brian Debo right in the middle in the gray hoodie. And he's a guy, as you just mentioned, will be interviewing for head coaching jobs. This is a tape he can bring with him to show the, <laughs> the next team what they're getting. I think they're watching. Third and four. Singletary, first down. Brian Dable won five Super Bowls as a member of the Patriots coaching staff. Won a national championship under Nick Saban with Alabama. He has their play caller there, the offensive coordinator. And how about this last play? Frankly, the last two plays. What did Josh Allen do on both of them? Got off of the primary targets downfield, went to the check down, took what the defense gave him, and fashioned it into a first down with nice, jo nice job by Gillian and then Singletary to move the sticks. So the Bills keep it moving here. Now in New England territory inside the 45. Flip it to the outside. Singletary. Hit along the sideline by the veteran Devin McCourty. McCourty, who has had so much success with the Patriots, we asked him about coming back to the postseason. He said, look, after last year, you realize nothing is given to you. Getting back to this point means a lot. Getting back to the standard that this team is accustomed to. You relish the opportunity. You try to take advantage of it. New England in a deep hole right now, 27-3. to Let's not forget, this was a team that started 2-4 and four before they started working towards that standard again, winning seven in a row to put themselves in these playoffs. McKenzie in the backfield. You called this earlier with McKenzie. The speed down the sideline. McKenzie gets shoved out of bounds. They're using everything available to them and everything is clicking for Buffalo. Well, his speed is something else, but look what else is out there. Look at Spencer Brown move, but look at Mitch Morris, number 60. That's the center who snapped the ball and then led Isaiah, led, uh, Isaiah McKenzie to the corner before Devin McCourty bumps him out of bounds. And congratulations to Mitch Morris and his wife, Caitlin. She had a baby boy on Monday, Deacon Morse. So Kennedy has a, has a little brother. Oh, yeah. We got next level information. And he made it back to practice after the, after the birth. Swing it to the outside. Cole Beasley gets involved. Flag is thrown. Hit by Hightower. There have been four penalties against the Patriots. Just one against Buffalo. Pass interference. Offense number 88. 10-yard penalty. Still first down. So it's Dawson Knox. Brings this one back. Clean game so far for the Bills. They can't do everything right. Watch 88. See him blocking downfield before the ball is completed. 
to Beasley. He can only be one yard downfield on that block, and he was more than that. The officials correctly flagged that would play. The first mistake by Dawson Knox tonight. Last year, the Bills held off Indianapolis 27 to 24 in the wild card for their first playoff win in 25 years. Play action. Allen. Deep downfield. Wide open. Touchdown, Emmanuel Sanders. And the Bills are pouring it on. Josh Allen has taken it to another level. Joan Williams, number 33. Not only did he peek into the backfield the entire way while playing zone, he slowed his feet about 10 yards into the route. And Emmanuel Sanders against a zone defense, similar to Stephon Diggs earlier in the ball game, just ran past the man who was re responsible for the outer third portion of the field. And if you do that, Josh Allen will find you. Five possessions, five touchdowns. Allen with his third. And the only thing that hasn't gone according to plan has been extra points. Tyler Bass missed it. The pick leads to points. The separation for Sanders. Another touchdown on the board for the gunslinger, Allen. Ram Trucks, J.D. Power's number one brand in new vehicle quality. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. And by DirecTV Stream, get your TV together. Back here at Highmark Stadium, one Bills drive in Orchard Park, New York. All the build-up, the buzz this week. You've been here for a few days, yes. Charles. It's palpable in this area what this game means, this matchup in particular, and obviously to get a packed house at home for a playoff game in Buffalo. They've won the AFCs two years in a row, but until they did this, and until it's actually the job is complete with New England, with this crowd base, mm -hmm. it's not done, right? <laughs> New England is the goal. That's who you have to go through, even if you are the defending AFC's champs. Kickoff from Bass, over the head of Osheski, and a touchback. Next Saturday on CBS, college basketball conference matchups are heating up. We'll have a fantastic showdown. The SEC, two top 25 teams, 18th ranked Kentucky, takes on fourth ranked Auburn. The day begins with a preview of that game and updates on all the news around college hoops inside college basketball coming up next Saturday here on CBS. Check your local listings for game time. Yeah, condolences to Big Blue Nation. Loss of Joe B. Hall, their yeah. great coach. What a class act. And then they jumped on my volunteers hard today. Yeah. yeah. Not um, cool. Not cool. Put that in the background. And it's Buffalo 33, New England 3. Play action. Jones steps up. Jones. Over the middle, toss caught by Harris, spun down by Edmonds. Seven-yard gain through the air. And I am, this is what we've talked about all year long with these teams who are so explosive. All the defenses say, we're going to make them earn it, make them run extra plays. Look at what they've done. Nine plays, 10, 10, four and six. And look at the yardage, 70, 80, 80. So if they're exhibiting patience and still scoring like that, they're going to be very difficult to deal with down the stretch. Jones handled there by Jacoby Myers, but short of the first down, hit by Taron Johnson on the play. It's the first playoff game for New England without Tom Brady since 1998. That was a wild card loss to Jacksonville. The Patriots' current radio analyst, Scott Zolak, was at quarterback that day. 12 players in the huddle. Offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. They're confused on the substitution and what they were, what personnel they wanted in the game. Ended up with 12 in the huddle and got flagged for it. So we went for a third and very short. Now it takes it to about a third and five, third and six. And you mentioned it early in the game. The last thing New England wanted to do is get into a track meet with Buffalo 0 and 5 this season when allowing 25 points or more. They're not built to just go out and outscore you. Jones, third and seven. And he drops it in the bucket to Kendrick Bourne. The catch and the run by Bourne. 
trampled down inside the 30 by Jordan Poyer. Don't let them tell you that they won't compete, no matter what the scoreboard. Born to the sideline, a nice throw by Mac Jones over the top of Dane Jackson. Look at that ball. And Bourne with a nice catch, and look, he's going to tack out more after it. 10, 15 yards after the catch. And that's really his forte, the yards after catch for Bourne. They're trying to get Bourne involved in the run game. Takes the opening. First down for Kendrick Bourne. Hit by Levi Wallace on the play. 14 yards and a couple of plays to loosen up this Buffalo defense. They got the quarterback leading. Watch Jones, number 10. He doesn't just come to the side. He puts a nice shoulder into the defender, Mario Addison, which allows Bourne to make the move and cut back for additional yardage. Young man out of Alabama competing all the way through. There is an injured Buffalo Bill on the play. It is Mario Addison. We'll come back. Mario Addison, the injured Bill, got up on his own. They were checking out the shoulder area as he made his way to the sideline. Addison has had a big year for Buffalo. The edge rusher now in his 11th year in the league. First down. Jones throws it into traffic. Brandon Bolden in a crowd. Looks like a good read by A.J. Epinesa, number 57, the defensive end. He sniffed out the screen and was in the vicinity and almost became the intended receiver. Second and 10. 42nd playoff game under Bill Belichick for the New England Patriots. Obviously the most over that span. Green Bay would be number two at 28 playoff games. Stevenson in there. Shotgun for Jones. That's a fly. And it's handled by Stevenson. Tossed down by Matt Milano. Four-yard pickup on the pass play. Watch Milano to the left of your screen. 58. Just sits in coverage. Sits in there when Stevenson makes the cut. He's there at the catch to help haul him down. Went to college as a safety. Boston College evolved into a linebacker. And as I said in the first half, has played at a Pro Bowl level this season. Shifting out of the backfield, Jacoby Myers, third down and six. They go empty. Jones delivers to the sideline. Myers takes the hit. He's got enough for the first down inside the five. Levi Wallace with the smack. That's a nice read by the young quarterback, Mac Jones, because he saw that Jacoby Myers was going to be isolated on Matt Milano. And as good a job as Milano's done this year, that's a linebacker on a receiver. And a good route by Jacoby, jo Jacoby Myers to break away from Milano and make the catch. Extra offensive lineman, first and goal for New England. Harris had three touchdowns the last time these two teams met. He's not going to get to the end zone there. A.J. Klein reads it perfectly with help. Under five minutes to play now in the third. 33-3. to three. Bills. Buffalo has won three of the last four meetings against New England, including that Week 16 matchup, 31 to 22 in Foxborough. Bills went six and three at home this season, but all those wins were against non-playoff teams. Second and goal. Handoff. No, fake it. Jones directing traffic, and he skies it. Back of the end zone. Catch made by that guy, but he's not eligible. And he had to make the catch because the coverage was so good off the play fake. Normally in those types of patterns, you're not going to have more than probably two in the pattern. And you're fake, thinking the fake will take care of everyone. But look at the back of the end zone. Yeah, he's wide open. And look at him. He wants to he listen. He can... <laughs> you need to give that back, sir. <laughs> Third and goal. From the gun. 
Time is there. Jones pump and throw, and it collapses off the hands of Jacoby Myers. The field goal here does you no good. Yeah, got to go ahead and try and try and get a touchdown. And you see the throw inside to Myers, and it's on the back side of him. If that throw is to the front side of Myers, I think we're counting six points on the scoreboard. But him having to stop and go back and try and turn his body was enough to turn it into an incompletion. Patriots this year 0-5 when they allow 25 points or more. They've given up 33 tonight. They're trying to get a touchdown on fourth and goal. Jones, soft toss, wide open. Touchdown, Kendrick Bourne. They had everyone in this pattern. And Bourne, 84, inside the slot to the left of your screen, just breaks to the back part of the end zone. But with so many others in the pattern and so much extra going on, he got lost in the back of the coverage. And Mac Jones found him for the touchdown. Really nice drive there for the Patriots. Not looking at the scoreboard, just trying to execute, work their way downfield, and successfully. Kendrick Bourne came over from San Francisco. Finished the season with 55 catches, 800 yards, five touchdowns. Interesting. A career year for him here. You know his teammate was in college? Cooper Cup at Eastern Washington. Mm, not bad. Well, obviously had a career year this season. 11 plays, 75 yards. It took four minutes and 36 seconds. Nick Folk will come on for the extra point. So Matt Jones, his first career playoff touchdown. Cardona to snap it. Bailey the holder. And Folk right down the middle. 33 to 10. Bills. Mac Jones finally gets what he was looking for. Born by himself for the score. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Intuit TurboTax Live. You do your thing. We've got your taxes. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Aerial coverage of tonight's game provided by Goodyear. It's freezing in Buffalo. Everybody knew it would be very cold. The anticipation throughout the week when the weather report came out. It was a subject, obviously, with both teams. Nobody downplayed it. Everybody no. accepted Respect. what yeah. is the reality here. Question now for New England. Do you try an onside kick at the 412 mark of the third? I think the Bills are. I, I don't think so. They're planning for it just in case yeah. with that group up front. You have to plan for it, but I'd be shocked if they did it because of the way the Buffalo offense works. Your, your hope is to settle back and then try and take it away somehow on defense. Kick it away. Return man is McKenzie. Some room to the outside, but couldn't quite get there. He gets tossed down short of the 25. Follow the Dutton family west in the new epic Paramount Plus original series, 1883, a Yellowstone origin story starring Academy Award nominee Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, and Faith Hill. 1883 now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus. You know, the Dutton family did well on that trip. <laughs> they voted Buffalo in January on their way out west. Josh Allen doing well tonight. 223 yards through the air. 63 on the ground. Three touchdowns. Two to Knox. One to Sanders. Fake the toss. It's a running play. Singletary has been outstanding. First down run 
for Singletary for 10 yards. Check in with Evan. Guys, weather at the 25s here. It's been cool to see how Buffalo's approached staying warm on this sideline. Micah Hyde told us about this, and you're seeing it right now in that brown cooler, or should I say heater. That's chicken broth in there, replacing water for some of these guys. Hyde, who spent four years in Green Bay, said that's key, along with some other things. Get that chicken broth in there to keep you warm on this sideline. I might grab some here for this fourth quarter. I was about to say, you didn't already? You bring that up, Kevin. <laughs> Chair. Play action. Allen. To Knox. Stiff arm. Oh, major toss down by Dawson Knox along the sideline. Oh, my goodness. They got Adrian Phillips. And Adrian Phillips is a tough guy. Okay, some of these things that happen doesn't happen just because you're dominating people. Adrian Phillips had over 100 tackles last year and led this uh, New England Patriots team. Can you make a play? Dawson Knox with a nice hand in his chest to continue on. And they just gave Phillips a healthy extension. That's how high they are on Phillips and how well he's fit in to this defense. Second down and three. Singletary waits, leans forward, and he comes up short of a first down. Needed three, got two. Hit by Phillips down low with the ankle tackle. Third and one. And with the score where it is, this is an offensive line that I'm sure is telling Josh Allen, running plays, man. Running plays. Let's keep it going that way. Number 72. Look at that. Yep. Matt Hawk has not been needed in this particular matchup. He punted against the Jets, but the prior two games before hey, that, zero on. punts as well. On, hey, we're good, we're and good, he we're did good. not have a good day last week against Ready, the Jets. Okay. And one, Josh Allen takes it for the first down. Six foot five, 237 pounds. Sean McDermott, when we asked him about this season, trying to put it into context, he said, the success of last season, it was the first time that a lot of their people went through that. And he quoted Kirby Smart, national championship with Georgia. The winds blow differently near the top. It's challenging to stay on that level. He acknowledged, hey, we didn't win the Super Bowl, but we had a great season, and now you have to maintain it. Absolutely, because everyone's coming for you now. Late rush, Allen waits. And a sidearm toss to Cole Beasley. First down, Buffalo into New England territory. And he's been waiting to get involved. He saw what Isaiah McKenzie did at New England. 11 catch, 125 yards in his slot. Been waiting to get involved again. He got involved in a big way. Look at Josh Allen. Look at him change the arm angle, drop down, and still throw the tight spiral that he seeks each time he throws the football put it right on number 11 and he took it upfield that is nine straight completions for Josh Allen and 33 seconds to play in the third motion man McKenzie shifts to the backfield toss it to him McKenzie and he gets those legs churning and McKenzie can get up and out to the sideline in a hurry that should be another run for him that was a lateral pass. That was not, not upfield. So that should count as another running play for Isaiah McKenzie, who's had success doing that tonight. Three carries now, 29 yards in the game. And that one covered seven yards. The Buffalo Bills up big on the New England Patriots after three. One quarter away from the divisional round for Buffalo. 33 to 10. Bills over the pass. The best in Kansas. Break down Wild Card Weekend with the pros who know on Inside the NFL, streaming Tuesday exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Start of the fourth quarter, Ian Eagle, Charles Davis, Evan Washburn, and the rest of our NFL on CBS crew, our cameramen and women who are out here in the bitter conditions in western New York. Big respect and appreciation. Big time. Second down and three. Toss it. Singletary. Zigzag move. First down run. Mitch Morse. Good block. And it was set up by Singletary because it looked like they had a stalemate 
when they get to the outside. Morse number 60 in, in blue. Here he comes. And look at the jump cut there. And that helped set up the block by Morse that made it effective. Singletary right there. Jump there and the back outside. And that allowed Morse to get in the angle and Singletary to get to the outside. Bundled up in Buffalo. Yeah. You're better Thank off you. looking in the camera lens. <laughs> it blocks the wind. Thank you all for doing what you do. Five Gibbs, Singletary. Looks like deliberate cut and gets extra yards. Four for Devin Singletary. And he's closing in on 100 on the night. Quarterback numbers, Mac Jones has been sacked twice, intercepted twice. Josh Allen has been nearly perfect for Buffalo. So that means now in his last four games against New England, that's 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions for Josh Allen. Buffalo Bills' first team in the Super Bowl era to score five touchdowns on their first five possessions in a playoff game. Second down and six. Allen caught touchdown, Gabriel Davis. A Buffalo barrage. Second time tonight. They brought that skinny post, the bang eight. Josh Allen off the play fake, throws a shot into it. Gabriel Davis bodies off the defenders. Dawson Knox did earlier to finish off the play in the end zone. Six possessions, six touchdowns. Tyler Bass, it's good. And the Bills have put a 40-burger on the Patriots. Josh Allen. Four touchdowns through the year. He's got style. Doing a 40 to 10. Yeah, you just get into your own world. And it's a good one right now. 13.22 to go here in the fourth quarter. 445 yards of offense for the Buffalo Bills. Bats will kick it off. Bill Belichick told us we're going to have to play our best game to win against Buffalo. It has not been their best game. Oshesky, little stop and go, and he gets driven down at the 24-yard line by Johnson. And it hasn't just been the offense for Buffalo tonight. Remember, this is the first drive of the game. New England was driving a beautifully thrown ball by Mac Jones. And look at the range by Micah Hyde. That changed the game. Later on, Matt Milano, the linebacker, flashes in front of Hunter Henry after he read the route. And, Le and, Le Le and Levi Wallace comes up the interception. Leslie Frazier, defensive coordinator, is leading the number one defense in the league. And boy, they're putting it on display tonight. Stevenson runs into a wall at the line of scrimmage. Damian Harris has been held to 29 yards on eight carries. Stevenson just his second carry of the night. Matt Milano has been all over the field for Buffalo. Go back to that interception by High. You know, we say, you know, a lot of times you say, well, no one play changes the game. To me, that play changed the course of this game. New England was driving. That looked like an apparent touchdown. And he took it away. And Buffalo went right downfield and scored. And the race was on. They use Stevenson in the flat. And he turns it upfield for a first down. These two teams are playing one another for the third time in the last 41 days. So that feeling of familiarity. Both coaches acknowledged it. Both quarterbacks acknowledged it. Your division rivals, you know one another, you know each other's tendencies. There are no secrets no. when you get to this stage. And, and people are wondering, do you come up with something new for the... Well, you try and find wrinkles and you change a little bit, but the basics are there. As Mac Jones told us, you're not tricking anyone at this point. You have to out-execute him. Play fake. Jones, the toss to Jakob Johnson. He drops the ball.
this is what it comes down to. What Coach Belichick talked about, we have to play our best game. That means you have to execute at a high level. You have to make every play that's available to you. Your margin for error is thin against a team with a high-powered offense. And plays like that epitomize what's going on here tonight for New England. Matt Jones, 18 of 29, 197 yards, a touchdown, two picks. The Patriots this season when turning the ball over multiple times, two and seven. Catch made by Jacoby Myers, but a short gain on the play, three yards. With one turnover or fewer, Pats went 8-0 this season. Have to be clean. And when they were in the midst of that seven-game winning streak, everything was working well. The defense was holding people down. That allowed the offense to click at their own pace. Allowed the running game to take hold. And then Mac Jones to throw off a play action to open people downfield. They hit the bye after that seven-game winning streak. Number one seed in the AFC. Nine and four. Third down and seven. Rush coming. Jones steps up. And he's dropped. Couldn't get away. Boogie Basham will get credit for it. The man out of Wake Forest came in as a second round pick here in 2021. First round pick was Greg Rousseau out of Miami. In 2019, they were one and two in sacks in the ACC. Rousseau with 15 and a half. Boogie Basham with 11 and a half. Rousseau, number two in the country, Brian Chase Young at that time. They wanted more speed along the defensive front. These youngsters starting to provide it. Punt from Bailey. It is Micah Hyde. Let's it bounce, and it's going to roll. Hyde scoops it up. Turns the corner. Micah Hyde down the sideline. And tripped up as he crosses the 45. The veteran Micah Hyde from the state of Ohio, went to Iowa, then with the Green Bay Packers, now the Bills. He told us he hates the cold, but he keeps coming back to the cold every stop along the way. He nearly went the distance. On CBS is sponsored by Verizon, the official 5G network of the NFL. Domino's, get great deals on pizza, bread twist, chicken, desserts, and more. And by Geico. You could save even more by bundling home and car insurance. 55 years to the day, Super Bowl one. That's Pat Summerall doing the interview with a headset on. Number 70, 72. 72 is Tommy Doyle. Rookie out of Miami, Ohio. Right 20, what's that? Backfield, Singletary, and Gillian. Fake it. Allen looks downfield, whips it. Caught! Dawson Knox! And he's down just shy of the goal line. Allen delivers it over the head of Jackson and nearly got his third touchdown to Knox. And it would have been his fifth of the night. Down by contact because Jackson was able to get a hand on him. But Baltimore, excuse me, Buffalo not getting off the throttle at all here with this big lead. Went for a dagger shot right there and almost completed it. Yeah, missed it by that much. <laughs> Don Adams. <laughs> Agent 99. First and goal. Hand off. Singletary. No denied. It's Zach Moss. Short of the goal line. Guarantee that offensive line saying, run it again. Run it again. Let us try and move people. A Sean good. McDermott, fifth year as the head coach, and this Bills team has done a whole lot of winning, but this is a different category. Consistency of winning now. Knowing that they are the target and ha owning up to it and handling it. Doyle, 72, back in again. Take it. Allen. Flips it for the touchdown. It's a big man touchdown for Tommy Doyle. Hi, 
highlight after highlight after highlight. The Doyle lines in, reports in eligible number 72, the big rookie out of Miami of Ohio. His skills aren't just moving people, he can catch the ball too. When he signed his contract with the Buffalo Bills, he did it in full uniform, including helmet. <laughs> you think he was enthusiastic about joining this team? And now it pays off with a touchdown here in the playoffs. And that one doinks through. And maybe the only thing that they're going to have to look at is Tyler Bass on these extra points, who has been so good this season. Tommy Doyle is a hockey player in high school in the state of Minnesota. Now he's got a 47 to 10. The Bills in front, the most points ever given up against Bill Belichick in the playoffs. That's a really tight shot of broth. Is that, is that the chicken broth? That's the broth. <laughs> Guys, when it's a 37-point desk visit, we go to the culinary arts. I can say that this is as good a chicken broth as I've had. The salt to uh, <laughs> consistency ratio is strong. It's going down smoothly. Evan, the fact that your hair is held up in the elements is not a shot to anybody that knows you. It's beautiful. Thank you. Super hair and super wild card weekend continues tomorrow. Triple header concludes Monday night in L.A., then the NFL Divisional Playoffs presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. Kickoff next weekend on CBS, Fox, and NBC. And these Buffalo Bills fans rooting hard for Pittsburgh going into Kansas City because if they pull the upset, we get another postgame game here, correct? Sure, time time mark. Buffalo, the first. 30 seconds. Timeout taken by Buffalo. Yeah, the Bills can host next week as the number three seed in the AFC. Well, this is perfection. I mean, they've done it every which way. 10-10. There's a nine-play drive. They've had three-play. Wow. It's never been Game. done in the postseason. 484 yards. It's been a Bills explosion. And I, and I would not be surprised now, finally, that Josh Allen would come out of this game. Mm -hmm. Get ready for next week. 8.31 to go. And Jones. Run up to Damian Harris. And he's down quickly, going up the middle for one. Hit on the play by... Boogie Basham. Now for New England, how are you going to judge this season? Finish 10 and 7 in the regular season. This was supposed to be a bridge year with yeah. a rookie quarterback. They spent a lot of money during the offseason to get the right pieces in place. I think they were still feeling like that at 2 and 4, but that seven game winning streak took expectations way high. Pitch it, Stevenson. Outside run, leans in along that sideline. And out of bounds, just short of the first down. You know, when we asked Bill Belichick, Evan asked him uh, a question in our chat. He said, hey, do you still get excited? After all these years, do the juices get flowing? He said, absolutely. We've worked over a year to get here. Yes. Started last January. Get the right players in place. Training camp. But he said the team was excited about the opportunity. But they lost three out of four to end the season. That gave some people some pause. First down run up the middle for Stevenson. Remember during that seven-game winning streak, and when I said expectations really went sky high, they were not unrealistic during that seven-game winning streak because of the way the AFC was going at that time. Kansas City wasn't sprinting ahead of the pack at that point. Tennessee looked like they were vulnerable. Remember, New England decimated Tennessee when they came into play. So no one thought, oh, that was that's outlandish. But then down the stretch, some of the flaws showed and some other teams got right. Take the pitch. Jones puts that one low, incomplete. The other part of the equation, too, coming off the first meeting between these two teams, Buffalo was demoralized. Yeah. That was a low point for the Bills. 
it, it was a unique situation with the weather conditions, the winds whipping, and New England just decided, hey, we're going to jam it down your throats. And they did. They 220, did 222 yards and 46 carries, 164-yard run. The crazy thing was, as poorly as it went for Buffalo that night, they had a chance to win that last drive. So they knew they were hanging in there, but they weren't quite themselves. Catch. Attempted curl by Bourne, and he gets hit by Matakevich. And I think if you talk to any Bills player, that was the low point. Yeah. They had some tough losses along the way. The Tampa Bay loss, you know, a game they could have won. That was the low point. I think they felt like they got their footing the second half of Tampa Bay. Even though they lost yes. the game, they felt like they came out of that like, okay, we're more ourselves again. And that's when the streak began. Had the big win at Foxborough, and that started to put some real life into their playoff hopes. Jones gets away, throws it. A high pass handled by Kendrick Bourne. He is short of the first down marker. Picks up two yards. It's fourth down for New England. We are under six minutes to play. Cam Lewis put the pressure on Matt Jones. A lot of substitutes in for Buffalo, but all of them racing around with their opportunity to play playoff football almost got jones in the pocket and even when he delivered the pass saran neal on the spot for the tackle on kendrick Bourne. so it's fourth and two brandon bolden sets up to the side of jones myers the motion man jones throws for the first down caught by myers his sixth catch of the night on nine targets flag is down personal foul roughing the passer defense number 57 15 yard penalty automatic first down and it's Epinesa correct call he didn't go all out and jam him but the ball was long gone by the time Epinesa came and put hands on him first time in franchise history the Bills finished with the number one scoring defense in the league they forced the most three and outs in the league this season. But Sean McDermott's going to get a lot of praise, and rightly so. Leslie Frazier should be getting a lot of attention for what he's done with that defense. Brian Dayball with the offense. But Josh Allen's development doesn't happen without Ken Dorsey as well, the quarterback's coach. Yes. I mean, that, that, they've been, into, you know, locked at the hip as well and getting his mechanics right. The evolution of him in terms of being, taking, being more patient, taking more checkdowns, he's really helped develop his game. Delayed handoff, Stevenson. Years on that cut and crosses the 30-yard line. Hit by Cam Lewis. Tomorrow, NFL Super Wild Card Weekend continues. Epic battle between two legendary NFC teams. Another chapter will be added to one of the game's most historic rivalries. The 49ers take on the Cowboys. Our coverage begins 4 o'clock Eastern NFL Today. Super Wild Card Weekend tomorrow on CBS. Second down and three. Another running play. And Stevenson gets spun down after picking up a couple. And Oliver there defensively. Yeah, we mentioned number one scoring defense in the league. Four of the eight previous teams to lead the NFL in total defense and scoring defense, which Buffalo did this season, went to the Super Bowl. The Bills' offense is high power. It's dynamic. And then you, <laughs> you put that with it? Yeah, that's There's the balance. Now you look around the NFL, you're trying to find balance. This Buffalo team is as balanced as anybody. Stevenson, first down run. Clock moving, 322 and counting. Coming up after the game. State Farm Post Game Show, JB, Phil, Boomer, Coach Cower. They'll have highlights. They'll have scores. They've got it coming up on the State Farm Post Game Show. I chuckled a little bit when we showed that San Francisco-Dallas game coming up tomorrow. Kyle Shanahan tried to indoctrinate his 49ers about that rivalry in the 90s. Got nothing but blank looks about it. Really? They told him, his players were like, that was a thing? San Francisco Palace? Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> Look it up. Catch and run. Aguilar gets walloped. 
along the sideline. Basham and Jaquan Johnson collaborate. But it's first and goal for New England. Nice pass back. Nice play design, execution, and big hits at the end. First and goal. Stevenson stood up, driven backwards to Mar Hamlin leading the charge. Rookie out of pit. And we hit the two-minute warning here in Buffalo. Josh Allen. Five touchdowns through the air. The Bills have been strong from the word go tonight. You don't believe in miracles? The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Michelob Ultra. Enjoy responsibly. Anvar, KFC. Order on KFC.com or through the app. Second down and goal inside the five for New England. Jones in the pocket, throws it too high over the head of Jacoby Myers. So third and goal for the Patriots, a minute 55 to play Cam Lewis. Back there defensively for Buffalo. Cam Lewis blocked the punt against the Jets. Now getting his chance to play some defensive snaps. You know, interesting when we mention the season to the likes of McDermott and Josh Allen, the bumpy road, everybody had the same theme, which was, no, made us stronger. We feel better about ourselves having gotten through it. Third and goal. Jones. Incomplete. Hunter Henry had a short touchdown. Low throw. Henry tried to go down and get it. No catch. That kind of night. It is that kind of night. And on a night where, as time goes on, the temperature drops, ball gets a little slicker, your hands not quite as supple. Hunter Henry unable to come up with that one. And he'd gone through a season. I don't remember him recording a drop until that play. Fourth and goal. Jones to the back of the end zone. And the catch is made for the touchdown. Kendrick Bourne. Well, the Patriots get some window dressing here at the tail end of the fourth quarter. Bourne and does a nice job going from inside out after coming in on short motion. Did a nice job with a little deft hand movement against the body of Cam Lewis to get away from him and a nice throw by Mac Jones putting it right over the top born with good possession rips it away for the touchdown send out Nick Folk for the extra point just making sure that was clean confirm so Mac Jones will finish the night with Two touchdowns, two interceptions in its playoff debut. 232 yards, 24 of 38. <laughs> 47 17, Buffalo. Don't forget the State Farm postgame show. JB and the gang back in New York. The latest. NFL scores and highlights coming up on the State Farm postgame show. So part of the learning process for Mac Jones. He's got a lot of pride. Jones had a terrific season in his rookie year. You know, we asked him about the familiarity with an opponent. Ever play anybody three times? He said, yeah, Pop Warner. I faced Sweetwater Athletic Association three times. The Hawks. In fact, his current teammate, Sean Wade, was on that squad. And you asked him, well, how'd you do? How'd you do? He said, ah, 
He did okay. He was trying to play it off. Yeah, he I tried thought so. Yeah. I thought so, he was being modest. So I think that year felt, felt like they swept them that year, but he said they played multiple years. Yes. They didn't win all of them, but they won the majority of them. But so, it, it is a unique situation. It really is. It absolutely is. And the reason he was in the game this late is because of that growth and development. And they wanted him to go through all of these things in his rookie year. Plus, he's going to feel this all off season, motivating. You know, bring him back, his teammates back, work harder in the offseason, try and get ready. Because right now, Buffalo runs the AFC East. Yeah, and he told us, you know, as the season went along, you get to show your teammates who you are, developing relationships. And he felt like he earned his stripes. Yeah. And he could get to the point where he was having honest conversations with his guys as a rookie starting quarterback. Took a big bounce. McKenzie is there. And he goes down with a minute 42 to play in this fourth quarter. So in the AFC, Cincinnati advances. 26 to 19 win over Las Vegas. A breakthrough victory for that franchise. The Buffalo Bills will move on. Tennessee will play the lowest remaining seed as the number one seed. All part of the divisional round presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. And you still have Pittsburgh and Kansas City tomorrow night. Mitchell Trubisky in. He takes a knee. And the final moments here in Western New York. What a performance by the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen. Five touchdown passes. Allen was money. 307 yards through the air. 65 rushing yards. He said to us to have this experience at home with their fans it's been a long time coming for this city to have a packed house for a playoff game he told us how pumped he was for it and his play reflected that bill's players asking the fans for their emotions to come through it's harder to cheer on a cold night like this you're wearing gloves you don't hear the claps per se but you can hear the voices. You can. And a signature win for Sean McDermott. The Buffalo Bills stampede into the divisional round. They beat up on the Patriots 47 to 17. Buffalo moving on and they look ready for this from the very start Josh Allen masterful once again against New England they ended the season on a four game winning streak and you could feel that confidence in this wild card matchup they look like a team ready for any challenge now they look like no matter what's in front of them, they have the type of team that is ready to play that game. Complimentary football. Offense, defense, they've got it. They scored 25 points or more in 13 games this season, the most in the NFL. Well, tonight, they explode. 47 points in a wild card route against New England. Care how much you practice, how much you draw it up. You don't think seven possessions, seven touchdowns, and they did it. Good. Down to the field, Evan Washburn. Well, Josh Charles Davis, or as you like to call him, Chuck, just said it. Seven touchdowns on the first seven possessions of this game. How'd you do it against this defense? We had guys uh, coming out here. We were ready to play. Uh, good week of practice. A lot of preparation went into this one. Guys made some unbelievable plays. Offense, defense, special teams. Um, you know, we start off really fast with the touchdown and Micah uh, with the unbelievable play there in the end zone. Uh, we just kept the momentum rolling all day today, and uh, we were happy to get this one. For you, how would you describe the command you have of this offense as we head into this postseason? Um, I, I think we feel good. There's some things that we can clean up and, and, and work on. Um, but at the end of the day, we moved on. We're to the next one. 
and it doesn't matter what we did today. It's what we do next week. And um, again, we gotta we gotta put our foot forward and uh, be ready for the next one. Yeah, I get the one track mind, but let's let's sit into what we just experienced because we talked here last year. It was about six thousand fans. Now you got a full house, a playoff win. What was this atmosphere like for you? It was awesome. I mean, these are the best fans in the world. They deserve it. Uh, to, to share this experience with them, to hear the energy and the excitement in this uh, building today, it was unbelievable. Uh, extremely blessed and honored to be part of, obviously, the Buffalo Bills and Bills Mafia here. They've been awesome, and uh, hopefully we can get one more. We'll see. You went sleeves a little cold, huh? I went sleeves. I, I caved in. Uh, I think it worked out, though. Absolutely. Congrats. We'll see Thank you down you. the road. Okay. Go Bills. All right, Evan, Josh Allen not only saying all the right things, but leading this team in the right manner week in, week out. Final score in Orchard Park, 47 to 17. The Buffalo Bills dominate the New England Patriots. Coming up next, State Farm Post Game Show for Charles Davis, Evan Washburn, the rest of our crew, Ian Eagle saying so long from Buffalo. We'll send you back to James Brown in New York right after this.